Frank McNulty was 19 years old when he first stepped foot into the WLS studios. In fact, we're standing in the very room where he contributed music for a morning show hosted by Oprah Winfrey. He turned 100 years old on August 31st, a career that spans television and music, impacting many around the world. But on this milestone birthday, he spent it in a quaint backyard in Deerfield, surrounded by the people who love him the most. To him, it's memories. That was the beginning of television. But for Chicago local television. It hasn't changed much. <laughs> It used to be all kinds of flashing pictures every once in a while. It's history seen within Frank McNulty's century of living. 100 years of music. Before the birth of television, there was a bright-eyed McNulty eager to prove himself. In 1944, he started working at a local television station that eventually became ABC TV. He was a band remote manager, scheduling prominent musical acts, including his own music. I ended up writing about seven different musicals. Then in the early 80s, he became the music director for the Oprah Winfrey Show when production was here at WLS-TV in downtown Chicago. And then she went and got her own network, her own show. He later retired in 1999 at age 76, a career that would be nothing without his love of music. In 1959, he wrote his first gold record, Bye Bye Baby Goodbye, alongside his wife, Colleen. And within two weeks, he became number one in all charts. A song he still knows to this day. Bye, 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 baby, goodbye. With a life paved in the television industry, there's still one title he's yet to try, a TV news reporter, at least briefly, until now. For Trey Ward, I'm Frank McNulty. ABC. I love you. <laughs> Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.